Hi, folks. Welcome back to the Horde. Man, look at this. We're almost out of January. Just one more day. Sun up. Not too bad. 36, 37 degrees. If the sun's out, it's not bad. Folks, I want to continue my series on these um, China Quad ignitions and... Um, I'm calling it a China Quad Ignition Series, but quite honestly, um, it's, it's really true for almost any quad or three-wheeler. Um, they get a little more complicated, but generally speaking, a lot of the wire colors are the same. Um, very, very similar. And if you get good kind of at one of them, the China Quad or the 200S or even the, um, even the, uh, Honda, uh, you know, um, foreman over here, um, you're good. So, to that, so, China Quad Electronics, let's talk about the 12 volt side of life, and here we are. So, start out with 12 volts on top, start out with ground on the bottom. The most important circuit on the 12 volt side, in my opinion, is the starter. And the starter is actually, uh, starter circuit is actually two circuits in one. The first circuit is the starter, which goes through the starter relay here. So you start out, you have positive on one st side of the starter relay and you have the starter and you have ground. That's simple. So the second circuit though actually engages the starter relay. How does that work? Uh, one side of the starter relay coil is grounded and the other side has a couple of switches. Right? Switch number one. On most of these they have a neutral switch. Um, this one does not appear to have a neutral switch, which is good, because then it doesn't cause you any trouble. You have the starter button, right? Push the button in, starter go round and round. But to get that power, you also go through a fuse, fuse box, and the key switch, right? You can't engage your starter unless the key switch is on. I normally, and you guys will see it frequently, you'll see me just hook my battery pack right to the starter, and I'll show you this in a second. And what I'm doing is, the starter is ground, so I have one side of my battery pack here going right to ground. And the other side, I have it going right to the top of the starter, right? So I've taken everything else out, right? I just have the battery and the starter. And let me show you. Right. One side, right to ground. The other side, hooked right to the battery. Or right to the starter. And when I turn this on, hear it? So, there you go. Um... And frequently, you guys will see me do that, especially when I look at a wire harness and it's all hacked up like this is, right? Um, so, that's just me. I'll go through the minimum electronics I typically use to get spark to the motor. That'll probably be tomorrow's video or a later video. Anyway, should you decide to hook all this up, once again, look at the stuff you have. You have your key switch, you have your fuse box. In this case, this is the kind of crap they're using as fuse boxes, right? Um, and you can picture if you leave it outside or anything like that, what kind of trouble you could get into. Um, I put in fuse box because on a lot of these Hondas, you, you can literally see a fuse box with a few fuses in them. Sometimes with this China stuff, they just have a fuse before or after the key switch, right? And it powers all that stuff. Once you have your key switch on, and assuming your fuse or fuse box is all happy, 
right? You know, power goes to your light switch. And you can turn your lights on and off. It goes to accessories. I'm not sure. Most of these China quads normally don't have any VL accessories. Occasionally, when you turn your key switch on, if you have a 12 volt um, CDI system, this, this one has the AC version. It doesn't have the 12 volt DC version. Um, that gets powered up also. So that's one side of the 12 volt equation. The second side of the 12 volt equation is the charging system, right? This bike has a uh, white and yellow wire, right? So yellow, right? And I have yellow, white, and pink. They could be any of three colors for the second wire, and sometimes there's a third wire, or quite honestly, sometimes there's only one wire. Um, one yellow wire, so that's a single phase, a yellow, or a yellow and white, or a yellow, white, and pink, or, you, you know, um, that could be one, two, or three phases, depending on how many come out, and I show those. Anyway. These two wires, if they were plugged in, eventually they'd get over here to the voltage regulator. The voltage regulator, easy enough to see, it's the thing with fins on it. See? That's simple. And here's the plug that goes into it. Right. If I was prepared, I would have had this plug out and I could show you, but I wasn't. Right. And quite honestly, it looks like they looks like they have a fuse coming out of it, which I happen to put into my diagram. That's a good thing. So, AC into the voltage regulator. Out of the voltage regulator comes DC. Red goes to the positive side of the battery. Once again, in this case, they threw a fuse in there. They don't always do that. Black goes to the negative side of the battery. That simple. Um, the things that could be a little different depending on which bike you're looking at. Sometimes, once again, just a yellow or just a white or just a pink. Typically, it's yellow or white. Um, if there's just one single phase, if there's two yellows, or a yellow and a white, or a yellow and a pink, um, that's two phase. And if you have all three of those, or three yellows, that gives you a three phase, right? And I kind of threw those in. Also, for ground, some of these have a, another wire coming out of the harness like this right the green green is ground green will always be ground so be happy with ground sometimes um, it doesn't have that green wire it relies on you hooking to the case somehow to pick up ground so that's why I kind of drew them in with dotted right also some of these bikes, and particularly the China bikes, love to do this, and it drives me crazy, and as a matter of fact, you can see it right here. See how you have a black wire? It goes into a green wire, right? They love to do that. They love to do the old black-green uh, changes, right? Um, typically, when you find black on your bike, pure black, and it's related to the DC, it's related to the electrical system somehow. That typically indicates that you have 12 volts there. Um, I have yet to see an AC system that uses black wires. Um, though I have some DC, seen some DC systems that use red wire. So, all right. So now what do we have? We have it so that we have a start circuit for starting things up. We have some interlocks, so supposedly you don't get yourself hurt. And we have a charging system. Um, tomorrow, or later, I'm going to talk about the AC side of the system. So, um, hopefully this helps. If I'm troubleshooting the DC side of the world, 
right? Or if, or if I get it, let's put it this: if I get an unknown quad, right? Some quad shows up, and I don't know what is going on with it. I very frequently will disconnect the charging, the stator charging wires. I'll disconnect those, and very frequently, quite honestly, I'll disconnect the battery. Um, why do I do that? Because if they're disconnected, they can't get into trouble. Then a lot of times I like the idea of um, applying power externally to the starter, as I showed you. So now, should this thing start, and these wires are isolated and they're covered so they can't touch ground and spark or anything, the battery's not in the situation, should she fire up, I don't have to worry about blowing anything up, right? It's all disconnected. It's all good. I don't have to worry about giving the... Um, the voltage regulator any kind of hot foot or if the wires are hacked up I don't have to worry about them smoking because the only power the only electricity is being applied to the starter and now it's disconnected should it start I'm not producing in any electricity except through the black and red that's going over to my CDI unit and uh, typically, that's really not enough power to cause too much trouble. Anyway, questions, folks, please ask. I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Let me know what you guys think. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.